Hey, NorCal Carters, Jason here. And this is a product placement video for ExtraCartParts.com. So once again, ExtraCartParts.com. If you're not already following them on Instagram, Facebook, or their website, go do that now. And again, ExtraCart with a K, K-A-R-T, ExtraCartParts.com. This is a product placement video. And uh, before you buy this Predator Ghost Engine, watch this video. So this video is going to be on the accessories needed for this kit engine. So don't make the mistake that you're going to buy this engine, go find a cheap rolling chassis, throw it on and be on the track and, or driving around your yard or wherever you're driving this thing in 30 minutes. There's some things you need to know, and I'm going to go over that in this video. So again, uh, this is going to be an unboxing of the accessories kit, but this is only the engine and the carburetor. So the engine and the carburetor... In this is in this box here from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight does sell an accessory kit, but the kit I'm going to show you is from my buddies down at RLV, and they have the accessory kit, and I sell it direct through ExtraCartParts.com. So um, keep in mind, anytime you support ExtraCartParts.com indirectly that is my main income indirectly it helps me keep doing the norcal videos the norcal mondays the trackside videos and all that stuff so keep that in mind uh, if you're wondering why you should support um, extra cart parts uh, and a lot of times i may not have it on extra cart parts because i buy and sell carting inventory and buyouts so sometimes i have it sometimes i don't but uh, at least give it a first shot and uh, i might be able to save you some money for your racing program. So that's the plug for extra cart parts. So before you buy this engine right here, watch this video and this is why. Give me one moment while I reset the camera up. Let's see here, there we go. Like I said, give me one moment here. Okay, we're gonna do the unboxing of the Predator Ghost 212 kit. And what is needed before you can put it on a go-kart. So let's start with opening the box. Accessory kit. So this is the Ghost accessory kit. So in the Ghost engine that you get from Harbor Freight, again, it's the engine with a carburetor. That's it. They have an accessory kit that has a couple of more accessories, but is missing some key things, and we will go into that in this video. So there's your list. I'm going to go through the small stuff pretty quickly so you can always go back and watch it. Throttle cable housing, fuel line, catch bottle, throttle cable, safety wire, fuel line clips, fuel filter. And some of this stuff you might go, why do I even need that? You don't need fuel line clips, but you know what? It makes things a lot nicer. Uh, keeps the fuel line secure onto the carburetor, onto the fuel pump. Uh, keeps it from leaking and leaking the gas all over the place. Now, real quickly, fuel line. You want to be very careful when you're purchasing fuel line. Not all fuel line is the same. Some of the fuel line that you get from like Amazon or some of these other suppliers may say fuel line, but the additives that they have in fuel, the ethanol, destroys aluminum parts and it destroys the fuel line. I don't know why. Maybe I can bring a buddy on that works in the fuel industry to explain it or post below if you know exactly why it does it. But you got to keep an eye on this stuff. If it's bad quality fuel line, what will happen is when it's exposed to the pump fuel, which most of us are using in our Briggs 206 or our clones and predators, what will happen is the fuel line can swell. It, it can become brittle. I've had a number of times where um, on a rental cart program I'm helping out, Three of the carts, the fuel line broke in three pieces inside the gas tank. So that's always kind of a pain in the butt to troubleshoot because when it's inside the gas tank, how often do you pull that pickup tube out of the gas tank to inspect it? Um, so again, pump fuel is terrible, terrible, terrible on our carts and the engines and everything else. Why they even allow it, um, we won't get into that. But fuel line. Use good quality fuel line to avoid those problems. Sorry, I just bumped my very, very expensive camera setup here. My Motorola Droid. All right, 
Now we have the header pipe. In or intake manifold, depending on what uh, your background is. Heat sleeve for the exhaust pipe. Exhaust pipe. Air filter. And again, this kit is available from extracartparts.com. Exhaust clamp for the muffler to the exhaust pipe. Chain. So this is going to be a 35 chain is what I ordered the kit with. So 35 is very common for the four stroke stuff. You can also order the kit in 219. Um, I personally on my race cart, I use 219. It gives you a little bit more um, options on the gearing as far as fine tuning it in. But most people run the 35 chain on the um, Briggs 206 or the Predator Ghost engine. Sprocket. Now. This video is probably going to be a little longer than anticipated, but there's a lot of details we need to go over. That number 35 here, I don't know if you can see it or not. That is not how many teeth are on this sprocket. Number 35 is the pitch of the teeth on the sprocket. The pitch is the distance from tooth to tooth. This is a 35 tooth, or I'm sorry, 35 pitch, not 35 tooth. It is a 60 tooth sprocket. 60 tooth sprocket. Okay. So a lot of people will call me. I get a lot of phone calls for recreational guys that say, oh, I have a 35 tooth sprocket. And they go, no, you don't. You have a 35 pitch sprocket. Um, if they did have a 35 tooth sprocket, then I know they're really out of our wheelhouse because it could be a completely different pitch or uh, one of those um, yard carts or something like that with those big 420 chains on them. But whatever. Okay. Exhaust muffler. Again. RLV, boom, they are my supplier for this kit. And the reason I'm using this kit versus the Harbor Freight kit, this has everything in it except for the oil. It has everything. It has all of these accessories I'm telling you about, but the big things it has, this isn't the big thing, clutch guard, exhaust muffler, straps to mount to the engine, chain guard, Again, everything is in this kit. Fuel pump. That's right. The engine in the box does not come with a fuel pump. And also what it does not include, which is the biggies. I get these phone calls all the time. Do you have a clutch? What engine do you have? I have a Predator. Oh. So I personally do not stock a lot of the Max Torque or the Hilliard clutches for my inventory. Um... They're readily available if you plan ahead. You're watching this video because you're trying to plan ahead. But this kit here has the Max Torque clutch in the kit. So you're going to need a clutch for your Predator racing engine. It does not include it. The kit at Harbor Freight does not include a clutch. Um, Max Torque. Shameless plug. If you'd like to sponsor NorCal Carters out there, Max Torque. If you know the people over at Max Torque and they'd like to sponsor NorCal Carters, reach out to me, NorCalCarters at gmail.com. And the other item it does not include, the engine mounts. So these are the two biggies that I get. So this is the engine mount, four cycle motor mount assembly. And this mount is universal. It should fit pretty much any of the common racing chassis when i say racing chassis um give me a moment here racing chassis racing cart chassis right there that's kind of what i'm talking about um that's a racing cart chassis these engine mounts are designed for the racing cart chassis um i don't have the video yet i will work on one but my buddies over at swede tech have a great video on how to determine what your frame rail sizes are and the spacing on the frame rail sizing. If the guy's voice on that video sounds familiar, put two and two together. But Sweet Tech Racing has a video on how to measure your frame rails so you make sure you order the right engine mounts. If you have the wrong engine mounts, if these clamps are too small or too big, you'll know because if it's too big, they won't fit inside the frame rail. So they're... Not going to fit. They're too big. If they're too small, 
then the clamps will not properly center the engine mount. And what's going to happen is as the chassis flexes and moves around, your engine's going to get looser or tighter. And you're constantly chase that problem. So you need to know the frame rail size of your chassis before ordering engine mounts and butterflies or clamps or whatever people want to call it. But this kit has the included butterflies in the engine mount. So this engine mount plate right here is what is going to mount to this engine here. You need that engine mount for this engine to mount on that chassis. So I hope you love my video production skills. But again, I'm just trying to get the content out there so people have it. Again, extracartparts.com. You can order this whole kit. I can ship it right to your doorstep, extracartparts.com. And the reason I'm doing this video is I'm building this cart behind me as a Christmas present. Um, it's December 2022. I bought the Predator engine. I bought that over at uh, Harbor Freight. I bought their accessory kit. And then I drove home and I'm starting to look at everything. I was like, wait a second. I'm missing the engine mount. I'm missing the clutch. I'm missing a lot of other little accessories. And instead of messing around, I remembered my supplier, RLV, sent out a video. Again, RLV. They've been great supporters of karting for decades. They sent out a flyer a couple of weeks ago that they had this kit for the Ghost Predator engine. And they said, why are you... They, and it was kind of a, a call out to our industry. Hey, industry people, why are you sending money outside the industry? We have this kit and everything's in the kit for you to put on that Predator Ghost engine to bolt on the chassis. So um, I returned my accessory kit from Harbor Freight. I called my buddies down there at RLV, said, hey, can you get this out to me today? I'm, I'm trying to get this Christmas present done. They had it. Boom, at my doorstep a day later. It was great. I'm doing the video now so you can see it, so you don't make the same mistake that I made. So to go over it again, this kit includes everything you're going to need to bolt the Predator engine onto the chassis. Now, I'm making some big assumptions here. I removed a Briggs 206 engine off of the chassis, so I know there's a sprocket carrier. I know the cart was running before I'm installing this Predator engine on it. So, uh, again, you need to plan ahead, but this is what the kit includes. Go over to in, uh, Extra Cart Parts. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. This kit will be available right now for us to ship directly to your door. So before you buy this engine, click on my links, get the accessories kit, get everything here so you have everything ready in front of you. And I will do another video. I can't do it right now. I'm going to order a whole nother kit for this. And I will do a whole nother video of how everything goes onto the engine. So I will do that as well. But again, this is going to be a Christmas present. So they, uh, I'm excited for this family. They're going to have a cart ready to go before Christmas. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Remember, extracartparts.com. Check us out on Instagram. And again, NorCal Carters plug. Again, I'm also NorCal Carters. Check us out on NorCal Mondays and other videos coming up. Thank you.